the reason this, this play exists is because of my mother. Basically, um, she passed away in 2015, but um, she has been the instigator of a lot of my works. So another play that I wrote called The Prophet, she threw a wet down at me as well in regards to that. Lisa Child is, is similar in that vein, that she said, we're hurting our babies, you've got to do something about this. The thing that I so love about this play is that Hone has created multiple characters who embody so many different perspectives and experiences of a Māori experience because there is no singular Māori experience. The play does address child abuse but Hone is looking at from a wider perspective as a societal issue a question of what has become of us as a community, not only as um, iwi Māori, but also as New Zealanders, as people in the world, when um, tragic acts of violence can take place within communities. Um, how does this happen? How do we get to this state where to be kind and to care um, are moments that are so few and far bet between um, that's what Bless the Child is addressing. It's, it's also about the effects of colonisation on the people, you know? We react, we respond the way we are, we're stereotyped the way we are because of those effects. So therefore again, it's looking, how do we counter this? How do we put forward a really uh, positive, nurturing uh, narrative to change this sort of thing? With Bless the Child, I think the timing is now more so than ever to have this story told because of what's happening globally. So, it's exciting. Awesome. <laughs> Just makes me excited to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been really interesting with the workshopping in New Zealand and Australia that people have come out going, bro, this is a really heavy kaupapa, but I feel really en enlightened and uplifted and I'm, I'm gonna do something about this, you know? And for me, that's the key.